is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Avery LR32 here. Destroy the boo boo stain out of that like and subscribe button so we can get to 900 eventually 1,000 subscribers ladies and gentlemen we are at 832 and man it's making me feel like i'm 22 again <laughs> i had to make that joke but ladies and gentlemen i want to talk about the market since i feel like within the next week or so probably after the ysis in brazil we're going to get a balance so i just want to do a little bit of a check in here and i also just wanted to look at like high priced cards and Yu Gi Oh in general because surprisingly some things have gone up and some things that you may not expect um so let's look at this here ultimate slayer is 330 these so here's the funny thing with these uh if you watch the live stream when we did the case i mean you know that i pulled one and nearly shit my pants because it was like five to six hundred at the time then uh once they came out they were 312 they dropped to 312 i should say they skyrocketed back up to 345 to 350 they dropped to 325 now they're at 330 i would say if you want to get ultimate slayer starlights like now is going to be the time because they're starting to slowly go back up there's only 14 listings on the market um primeval planets are 95 dollars. jesus christ i sold this at pre-sale for 60 i'm still really kicking myself for that blues were 90 to 95s they're kind of settling around the 85 dollar range i think that that's fair ultimate slayers at 48 starters 10s garuas nines kaleidos at nines elves at eight to nine <laughs> the kurakari fell off at 10 elves or, or uh, excuse me marthas are 15s rhino hearts 19s like this set has some fucking value like even the Ashura king which is the booty booty butt cheek secret rare of this like it's still one to two dollars like this stuff is holding value boxes are 78 fucking dollars like lord have mercy like why like once you kind of get past the per the first page like yeah things kind of fall off but even then there's still a couple bucks like uh, almost a dollar a dollar a dollar 20 jets and all that are pretty cheap but i mean granted these are the super rares so yeah uh interesting to look at warm worms out of 5d's tag force four so if this card's destroyed send the top three cards your opponent's deck to the graveyard so maybe you could use it with the mill support in magnificent mavens i highly doubt it because that's just kind of liquid ass but you can look here it was 27 and then 26 24 and now it's just dropping off but these things are hard to come by i've got a play set of mods mod plays are basically 13 dollars 12 to 13s damage for eights but then it's five dollars for shipping 13s these are just the mods you look at light play light plays are 17 on up to 23 and then you look at near mints there's only nine listings of near mints 22 18 and then they go all the way up to nearly 31 dollars what the fuck for a card that really needs a reprint so if you want something that has some value uh maybe you might want to pick up some warm worms you, you might want to do that pimp uh also let's look at the pre-sales here for tactical masters do not buy this set i repeat do not buy this fucking set there is no value at all whatsoever in this set the only thing that you should want from this set is the mr runes which you should just buy a core on release for like what 150 to 200 dollars like if that uh everything is just way too damn high Drolls are 180s, Trap Tricks 150. Like, granted, these are the collector's rares, but I'm not paying out the ass for this shit. Runic Fountains. So, this is the Mr. Room Field spell. 130 for collector's rares. Now, nah, you can eat my ass with some salt and pepper on the side. Anti Spells are 130s. No. Scapegoats, 120s. No. Arion, a Labyrinth Servant. No. We're not paying $100. Um, any of the valiant stuff is just liquid ass like there's a reason why that this set's only 62 dollars a box because it's it's just not good runic fountains for 30s as ultras no absolutely not I, honestly if you could pick up a core of mr runes for like a hundred dollars or less you made fucking money like literally all you should want from this set is three drolls and three anti spells if you don't already have them and then a mr rune core because everything else is just kind of booty booty butt cheeks maybe the labyrinth stuff will be okay but i mean in a format with sprite and tier elements at full power maybe a ban list will kind of help them out a little bit but right now all you want from this set is just mr runes and reprints dimension force this set fell the fuck off of a mountain 200 dollars for haunted mansion starlight so let's, let's click on these real quick maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm wrong let's see here uh five dollars for the koreans uh tcg player you need to fix your shit 205s after shipping and then they jump with well, jesus christ look at this jump 205 for near men after shipping 255 after shipping 
Then they jump up to $345. What the fuck? And these things are selling. They cap out at $750 from in-house games. Wow. $205. Or rather, $600 and then plus $5 shipping. $600 for a play set of Ghost Bells? That's actually not terrible. Uh, yeah, you might want to swipe that up while you got the chance, pimp. Uh, also want to take a little snapshot in here into Legendary Duelist. <laughs> Boxes are fucking $34. <laughs> Bruh. Ghost Rare Honor Arcs, 22s. $7 for Fish Sonars. 51 for Droplets. And they're being reprinted in the Tin of the Pharaoh Gods. There's no value in this set at all. Oh my god. Ghost from the Past 2. Uh, Alu Bars are 6s. That's shocking. Um... 222s or Dark Magician Girls. Let's look at Ball Sacks and Dark Arms. Like, those are the two cards I always love to look at in this set. Ball Sacks and Dark Arms. Ball Sacks Korean are 26. Don't buy that shit. Light Play First Dead is 58. That's not terrible. Near Mint is basically 65 after shipping, and then 68 and 70. So, $58 Light Play? That, that's not bad for a Ball Sack. Uh, I'll take a Ball Sack for $58. Uh, <laughs> Ghost Rare Dark Arm Light Play is 42. That's not bad. Um, they were 45s. Near Mints are basically still $45. These have held. These have held really well. I think that these will go up. Like, this is something that you invest in for like a two to three year time span. When people are like, you know, I really want to play a Dark Arm Dragon, but have a Ghost Rare. I will guarantee you, though, if Dark Arm Dragon ever becomes meta again, these are going to go through the fucking roof. I can promise you that. Um, let's see. We looked at that. And then I just kind of wanted to look at uh, just odds and ends here. Um Look at this. Sinister Serpent out of Falsebound Kingdom. This was a dog shit Yu-Gi-Oh game that was like real-time strategy. So uh, this was $3,000. And then now one's being sold for $15,000. The one that was being sold for three k on here, though, was um, also listed on eBay. Like the same guy listed it on eBay. So I don't know if this guy bought it and is turning it around for fifteen dollars But if you want a Spanish Sinister Serpent that's super rare that only came out of Falsebound Kingdom... You're looking at $15,000. I'm not going to go look at eBay just because, you know, that's too much work. But, yeah. Um, Masterpiece Blue Eyes. What's the market on this? So, these were five grand in July. Uh, now, in late July, they've dropped to three. So, you're looking at $36.74, $36.75. Look at the fucking undercut on that shit. Like, what the fuck? $36.50. $25 shipping. Bruh. Uh, all the way up to $9,000. Holy shit, it's over $9,000. I mean, if you want... A platinum blue eyes and you couldn't get in like like me because the fucking website just kicked you in the nuts <sighs> nearly thirty seven hundred dollars i mean i don't know if you want to take the polar bear plunge or the pepsi challenge on that but you might want to take the pepsi challenge on that duels pack yugi booster box sold out two grand no a thousand dollars for chaos neos no <laughs> the fucking starlight market twenty five hundred dollars you can eat my ass no we're not playing that game now here's something i do want to look at $720 for Starlight Rare Tactical Talents. Here's the thing, right? That's for light play. And your mint is $745. I, this is my bold prediction. If you hold on to Starlights like Ultimate Slayer and really any Starlights out of... Um, I almost said Rising Rampage for some reason. Um, sorry, I'm tired. Power of the Elements. If you hold on to Starlights on that set, I guarantee you within a couple years' time, you're going to see price tags like this on shit like Ultimate Slayer. Because... I mean, for one thing, the card's pretty good. And number two, who knows what could happen with it in the meta. And number three, like, just Starlights go up over time. And, like, once you start hitting that $600, $700 price tag, like, yeah, things just start to slow down. But I, I think it's definitely worth investing in, in Starlights, especially in these newer sets like Power of the Elements. If you already missed the chance to get these, uh, like, out of Edco and Rise of the Duelist. Like, it's, it's just not going to happen unless your, your wallet's literally burning a hole in your pants. Um, six hundred and ten dollars for twenty twenty tens. Fuck that. Nearly seven hundred dollars for Prosperity Starlights. What are we doing? Like, really? Why? Please go touch grass. Four fifty for Black Rose. Now, I didn't stream this, but I did get a Lightning Overdrive case that had a Ghost Rare Star, uh, go Ghost Rare, a Starlight Black Rose and a Starlight Book of Lunar Eclipse. These things are at four hundred fifty dollars. They've dropped off by fifty bucks. These things were five hundred. No one is buying these. Like, you got to go to page two to get $500 copies. I think really that just comes from the fact that no one plays Black Rose anymore. Like, it's it's just not good. It's really not. Like, 
there, there's just no reason to play Black Rose, which is a damn shame. The card used to be fucking busted. Started at Kaiba Unlimited, 700s. Uh, United We Stand for 800. Storm of Ragnarok, 650. Get the fuck out. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your market. Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support. And I will see you in the next video.